Well, we got an unexpected package that showed up from uh, Ray Cornelia. And look, he's not like Tom. Look what he does. Open this side up. Open here. How nice is that? God, he's so considerate. What a great guy, too. We exchange emails all the time. Uh, Ray's a really good guy. And if you don't subscribe to his channel, get over there. It's uh, uh, on YouTube. It's Ray Cornelius' channel. And uh, he does some gun stuff, and he does some few other things. You know, he does some machine work and some... Uh, putzing around the shop, but uh, he's got a really nice mill and a really nice lathe, and actually he's got two lathes. He's so spoiled. Right, let's see what we got here. Stan Z with a bar going through the Z. Let me peek here. Oh wow! I gotta look at that in a second. Let's see what the letter says. Uh, Stan, this little project started out as an idea I had in wanting to build a better shop hammer that could be used for several hamming tasks. So I did a napkin drawing with rough dimensions, gave it to my daughter's boyfriend, Philip, to draw it in SolidWorks. Then we both fine-tuned the dimension and started making chips. The handle head and one of the tips are made from 17.4 pH stainless. The handle threads into the head. Uh, and uh, 290 Loctite to keep it from coming loose. The base of the handle, head, and tips are all threaded quarter 20 and retained with a one inch uh, hex set screw. I thought by using the soft tip on the handle base, it would not only serve as a spare tip, but it helped protect it from marring. The knurling is a 21 pitch medium knurl. This is the first and only we have made and could, uh, could not have thought of a better guy to give it to. Use it, show it off, and let me know how I can improve it. Hammer on, Ray. All right, Ray, let's take a look at your hammer. Whoa. Look at that. We got Delrin, brass, aluminum, and uh, looks like a, a stainless steel. And we got a UHMW down there at the bottom. So, wow, Ray. Holy moly, I don't even want to use this. This thing's beautiful. Gosh, I gotta send you some more squares now. Holy sh! Holy! Whoa, you did an awesome job on this, dude. I gotta polish that up. I got some glue in it or something. So what do we got? We got a Delrin tip here, UHMW that stows in the bottom, which is pretty damn cool. And we got a little brass there for smacking stuff. Oh, and he set screwed in those. Okay, that's cool. So the studs just stay in. There's your Delrin. Well, Ray, you need to go into business making these things. Because that's pretty darn awesome. Take a look at that. There's the glue that got in there. I'm going to polish that up here in a little bit. That got on the blew it off of the foam, but uh, let's see what else we got here. There's a stainless steel tip. Nicely finished, beautifully polished, and aluminum tip. When you need to bang on something, don't want to mess it up. That's like an all-in-one. That's a beautiful thing, Ray. That's so beautiful. Gosh, I don't even want to use it. But everybody take a good look at that. Take a good look at that. But what a wonderful surprise. This was awesome to come home to. And uh, Ray, I sure appreciate all this. I, gosh, I don't even want to use it around the shop hardly. It's kind of cool that you can stow your extras. I was actually going to go out and buy a little plastic hammer the other day. I was looking at some. That stoves right there. And we've got UHMW on one side and Delrin on the other. Gosh, and look at the face. It's just perfect. I don't want to hit anything with it. I'm so conflicted. Thanks, Ray. Okay, well, that was our incoming, which was pretty darn cool. Let you take another good look at that. That's a beautiful thing, and thank you again, Ray. 
Um, so that was incoming. I have a little bit outgoing. Um, I just got a couple squares I got to send it to uh, Dan Bentler. And uh, I'm just going to repurpose some of that uh, high dense foam. squares here going out to uh, Mr. Bentler. Um, these actually came in undersized so he got a discounted rate on them. They came in just slightly undersized. Um, these were supposed to end up a three inch but they ended up uh, a little smaller so they had some distortion out at the tips and I ground the distortion away and made a good workable set of squares out of them but they're not my standard size. Actually, these were more trouble because they don't fit into any of my tooling now. My standard, I got tooling set up for my standard sizes, but uh, I don't, uh, ooh, look at that, fits right in there. And this should fit in the other side about the same way. Yep, there we go. Okay, Dan, those are all oiled up and uh, let me get them shrink wrapped here. And these are going up uh, to one of my uh, subs, uh, Dan Bentler, up in Seattle area. So these are outgoing. I had my incoming. Um, I had another outgoing, which I'll show you. It was just a, um, a three-piece set um, that I, I, had a, I have a limited uh, time offer that if you buy three sets of squares, um, I'll make you a custom mahogany case. So uh, here, let's cut to that. That's just a quick video of me uh, uh, showing off the case a little bit, uh, practicing my woodchuck skills. Okay, Dan Bentler, those are coming to you. Uh, you guys go look at that uh, vid of that little bit of mahogany woodchucking I did. It's turned into a real popular set. Uh, three inch and then two inch 6030s and then the two inch uh, 9045s. So two sizes of 9045s and one size of 6030s. And uh, the way the case lays out, um, I, I have room to add a groove. And I go ahead and put a groove in there. That's a tactical keychains uh, pen, but they can put their favorite scribe down in there. And one of my pet peeves with boxes is not being able to get your fat fingers in there. So I machine little uh, finger holes so they can get in there and pull their uh, stuff out of there. You know, they can get their finger in anywhere and get any of these out. So one of my pet peeves with carrying cases is... They carry them really nice, but you can't get your sausage fingers in there to get them. So, anyways, that's the case. Um, this is what's coming in on uh, doing sets of three. When they buy sets of three, we're doing a, uh, a mahogany case. All right? Just thought I'd show it to you.